Broadcast in English for listeners in Western Europe and North America, East Coast. We can also be heard on the internet at www.rri.ro channel 1. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and other social media platforms. Our programs are also available on TuneIn and via satellite Unisat 16A on 11.512 MHz vertical polarization azimuth 16 degrees east. Symbol rate 29,950 mega symbols per second. Standard DVB-S2. Modulation 8 PSK. Audio PID 510. We wish you good reception conditions. Hello, I'm Ana Maria Popescu with a news bulletin. First, the headlines. The president of Romania, Klaus Johannes, will announce early next week his decision on the three new nominations in the Dancer cabinet. And Romania's women's tennis team is playing against France, away from home for a historic qualification in the Fed Cup finals. The score so far is 1-0. Orthodox and Greek Catholic Christians in Romania are celebrating Palm Sunday, commemorating Christ's arrival in Jerusalem prior to the crucifixion. On Saturday, many believers and priests took part in processions in Bucharest and other cities. Palm Sunday marks the start of the last week of Lent, known as Passion Week, which makes the most dramatic events in the life of Jesus. On the other hand, Catholic and Protestant believers Sunday celebrate the Easter, the biggest holiday in the Christian world. In Romania, over 10,000 police and 8,000 gendarmes will be deployed on the Orthodox Sunday to ensure the safety of the citizens taking part in the events related to these holidays. Working abroad are beginning their Easter visits home, and checkpoints are getting increasingly crowded. Over 4,000 border police will work every day to ensure efficient border controls during this period. The Romanian border police has also called on the authorities of Bulgaria, Hungary, and the Republic of Moldova to increase the number of staff available in checkpoints if necessary. President will announce early next week his decision on the new nominations in the Dancila cabinet. The Democratic Party, the main party in the ruling coalition, has nominated the deputy speaker in the chamber of deputies, Eugenie Nicolita, to replace Tudor El Toader as justice minister. The Social Democrats withdrew their political support for Toader after he refused to pass new controversial changes to the criminal codes and consequently Forwarded to the presidency the resignations of Romana Blum, Minister for European Funds, and of Natalia Intotero as Minister for Romanians Abroad. The two are running for the European Parliament in the upcoming elections. Nominated to replace them are Deputy Juana Flora for the Ministry for European Funds and Senator Livio Breloyo for the Ministry in Charge of the Diaspora. The president has hinted that he disapproves of these proposals. In his opinion, this government reshuffling strengthens what he called the Social Democrats' siege of the judiciary. As part of the 2019 Romania first quarter season, the French Film Festival started on Saturday in 10 cities in Romania. Launched in November 2018 in France, the cultural dialogue between the two countries continues in Romania with scores of theatre shows, dance performances, concerts, film screenings, literature-related events, exhibitions, and debates held in over 30 towns and cities. This was an important landmark in the arts and cultural life in Romania and France. The event strengthens the economic, scientific, cultural and social ties between the two states. The official closing of the 2019 Romania-France cultural season, which overlaps the Romanian presidency of the Council of the European Union, will be on July the 14th, 30th National Day. 
We end with sports. Romania and France are tied for an all in the Fed Cup semi-finals after Simona Hennett, number 2 WTA, beat Kristina Mladenovic, number 66 WTA in Roa, and Mihaila Buzanescu, number 30 WTA, was defeated by Caroline Garcia, number 21. Three other matches are scheduled on Sunday. Karolin Garcia vs. Simona Halep, Kristina Mladenovic vs. Mihaela Buzarnescu and Karolin Garcia, Kristina Mladenovic vs. Irina Begu, Monika Niculescu. For the second time in history, 46 years apart, Romania is playing a third cup semi-final. France's performance in this competition is much better. The French tennis players were twice champions in 1997 and 2003, finalists in 2004, 2005 and 2016, and semi-finalists several other times, including last year. Should Romania get past France this weekend, it will play the final in November against the winner of the match pitting Australia against Belarus. To wrap up the news bulletin, here is a look back at our top stories today. The president of Romania, Klaus Johannes, will announce early next week his decision on the three nominations in the Venezuela cabinet. And Romania and France are one out in the Fed Cup semi-finals. This is Simona Khaled, beat Christina Thank you. 